What up peeps, welcome back to a new review video. This time we have Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Man, I have to say, this movie is something else. Marvel this time brought in something new, and I like the way that they keep touching on, on different styles of filming, on cinematography, and uh, bringing in new things, so they're not sticking with one theme, or in one style, or in one method, to bring about whatever the story is. It can be a build-up story, or it can be an origin story, or it can be a story of bringing in characters together, or including featuring characters from different, uh, or from the same universe. And... Uh, Marvel is really stretching itself out to as much as possible to bring about new things for the audience and this is something amazing this is one of the things why i like marvel so much even though i'm a dc fan and even though this movie is not the best out of the mcu or all of the mcu movies but it is the best at one thing the fight scenes this is i think what made it stand out i know a lot of people keep saying that captain america winter soldier is the best one or it had the best fighting scenes but for me this one and i'm a huge martial arts fan so everything when it comes to the choreography and the, the the movements between the characters or the actors i pay a lot of attention to the nuances in the small details when it comes to the fighting scenes and shang chi like filled in a lot of these nuances you know when you see a movie that has a fight scene and it's uh, kind of very generic and you can see that these people are kind of rehearsing or training or you know they're just doing movements together it's kind, of, it's kind of like dancing you know they're not really fighting but in shang chi for example and this is one of the things i noticed it kind of blended in the fighting styles of crouching tiger hidden dragon and whatever jackie chan movie that you can think of all the scenes were just so fast, so overwhelming, and you had to pay attention to a lot of what's going on there. And it was adrenaline pumping. And again, one of the things that I liked about this movie in particular and the way Marvel is stretching itself, it brought in new things, a new style in terms of uh, cinematography, action set pieces, the culture, the drama. A lot of the things that were in this movie were very much different than the other movies that we have seen, or the series that we have seen from Marvel up until now. So to me, this was a very good breath of fresh air for a movie, especially especially in the universe that we've been following and it's still continuing up until now so I would say kudos to Marvel in that aspect only but not in everything else about this movie adding to that that this is also an origin story and it's very much different than the other origin stories that we have seen before it's very unconventional as we've known and also building up the protagonist and antagonist and having the whole story revolving around a family that has broken apart due to the death of the mother and then they reunite again or the father seeks out both his son and his daughter uh, to reunite again with them but then not because he wanted to see them but because he wanted to get back to his wife. For me, I like this aspect because it's quite different from the conventional way that we've seen Marvel build up their protagonists and antagonists, like we've seen before, you know, showing the main characters like normal people, and then they discover that they have powers all of a sudden, and they start playing with those powers, and while they're doing so, they come across the villains and, you know, the usual MCU way. And this is what I had an issue with with Marvel at the beginning, because it was very... Uh, cliche it was very repetitive and uh, I like that this time they changed it to something new so here we see the protagonist or the hero already uh, aware of his powers or, or of his abilities because of his constant training since childhood and the villain is his father who's driven more by seeking to reunite with his wife than simply wall domination so there's some emotional drive for the characters here and uh, speaking of emotions that brings me to the other point or the other aspect that I felt a bit off with and that is the main actor he was not convincing Simu Liu was not a very good actor in this one he was a very good fighter and I loved his fighting scenes but when it comes to the dramatic scenes he barely shows emotion like even in the fighting scenes sometimes you see him just with a straight poker face you know and it's that's been his face for, for most of the movie you know when he's fighting when he's supposed to be crying when he's feeling angry or feeling sad or whatever it's there's barely any emotion, you know, he's just fighting there like a robot. Like in his fighting sequence against his father. That one was supposed to be the most dramatic scene in the whole movie because that's what the story was building up towards. There should have been a lot of anger, a lot of sadness, a lot of confusion because he's blaming his father for the death of his mother and he's blaming himself as well. And he knows that his father was genuinely trying to get back his mother. In all of these scenes, there were barely any emotion and that's kind of what put me off to some extent uh, in the movie. But then his co-stars did much better. Like Aquafina, Michelle, Yo and the actress who played uh, Shang-Chi's mother, even the father as well to some extent. All the other actors around 
the guy who played uh, Shang-Chi, Simu, uh, Simu Liu, they all did amazingly. They put more expressions, more emotions, and you felt what the scenes were about, or the dramatic scenes in their performances, more than you would have uh, felt with uh, Simu Liu. Another thing that made me even feel more off with the movie was the CGI. It was quite bad, you know, compared to the other Marvel uh, movies. Most of the CGI in their movies was amazing. It was spectacular. Like in a lot of movies, you didn't even feel that you were watching a movie you felt like you were inside that movie especially in the Avengers movies I think this movie had the worst CGI it was very obvious very clear you could easily tell it and for me bad CGI just puts me off the movie straight away I think it just drops the level of my liking to the movie to 30% at least and another thing that Marvel is very well known for is the comedy and the jokes okay the jokes in this one were cringy but I don't know with the jokes in Marvel they're becoming worse and worse they used to be much better they used to be a little bit more impulsive and more casual and more genuine but then they just seem a little bit forced and of course i get that marvel movies are family friendly supposedly so they have to bring the element of uh, jokes in them but i don't know i'm noticing that bad pattern especially after avengers endgame let me know in the comments if you think the same uh, as that or if you think that their jokes are still all the same or if you like them or you don't like them altogether you know drop your ideas and your thoughts in the comments below coming then towards the end i liked how they introduced or brought the main characters uh into the world of avengers namely uh shang chi and his best friend and uh with wong being the one who brings them in and introducing them to bruce banner and captain marvel and man i have to say benedict wong has such a charismatic voice i could listen to him narrate a documentary for all day and i wouldn't even get bored it just fits with him perfectly and especially with his character in the MCU. Then coming towards the end of the movie or in the post credit scenes and obviously as we all know Marvel, Marvel usually has uh, a mid credit scene and then uh, a scene at the end of the credits and uh, both of them didn't really introduce much but uh, it was a good addition. So it was fun seeing it all together with the movie as a whole and for my rating of the movie I would say the movie had some good sides and had some bad ones as well but all in all it wasn't that bad or too bad. And I think for the most part, the fight scenes especially are what held the movie to a good level. I'd say to an above average level. And so I would give it um, 6 popcorns out of 10. And so let me guys know, what did you think about this one? Do you think this movie brings in or brought in a new element or a new style to the Marvel Cinematic Universe or did, did it actually bring something new in general or do you think that it's quite average and uh, it's not much different from the other MCU movies and do you agree that this movie had the best fighting scenes in all the MCU movies or do you think that Captain America the Winter Soldier did better or if there's any other movie that did better when it comes to the fighting scenes let me guys know in the comments below and I'd love to read what you have to say about this one and until I see you guys in the next video thank you very much for watching have a splendid day and peace out